What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 If you've been with my channel for a while, you know what this is. I, every once in a while, probably about twice a year, and I don't think I've actually done one in like the past year, but I get a ton of stuff. I buy, sell, and trade. I actually bought an entire Dudes collection about three months ago, and so I have a ton of extra guns. I can't use all of it. I actually just built another build that was like 500, 600 bucks, so I need to sell off some of the stuff that I have. As always, I will usually leave one thing that's the best for the last, and we'll go guns, accessories and figure that out. So before that, I want to do go over some rules. So first thing, message me through Instagram or or Facebook Messenger. Those are the two things I use. Don't comment on the comments because it's so easy or so much harder to get a hold of you and stuff. And so if you message me through those Instagram and uh, Messenger, it'll be in the description. It's in the description of all my videos. That's my personal information. Um, you can contact me through there because I don't have like a fan page or whatever. Um, I just have my normal Instagram, my normal Facebook. Secondly, Everything that I'm going to sell is in the description, so it will go from top to bottom. So if I'm selling this gun first, it'll be at the top. If I sell this gun in the middle, it's going to be there. If I sell this accessory here, it's going to go in chronological order as normal. And so I will have the pricing listed in there, and then I will also say sold if the gun is sold. So I will put in all caps, sold if the gun is sold. And then thirdly and finally, I use PayPal. Um, sometimes I use the Cash App, but it's just easier than anything else to do PayPal. I know some of you guys are younger um, that buy my stuff. Sometimes kids will use their parents' PayPals. Um, but this is for you guys to buy because I have a ton of stuff and I just need to be able to Every once every time I do this people will buy pretty quickly And so if I can sell stuff pretty quickly and then I can ship like five guns out at the same time It's easier for me. I have eight weeks left of college before I graduate from undergrad And so I just need to sell some of this stuff because I have guns that are taking up my entire room Which is not a bad thing, but it's also not a great thing So first thing we're gonna do is go over my AKs so I'm gonna go pretty quickly. I will explain. Most of the guns will not come with the accessories. I will tell you they will, and I will sell the accessories for extra. However, I think I've stripped most of the guns to, to come with exactly what they say. So this is an AK, this is a Simon AK. Um, this thing is awesome. It's got real wood furniture. It's got a cooler flash hider. It's got a store or normal high cap magazine folding stock, and it's just an incredible gun. I'm gonna go at a pretty quick pace if you guys have ever seen this before. Next up is another AK. Um, this thing is also cool. Simon just makes some really, really high quality AKs. It's got a cool polish job, so the receiver is actually polished and silver. Orange flash hider, polished barrel. Um, this is the tactical version. It actually comes with a bigger AK style magazine. So you can see this is the smaller AK style magazine. And you can see that the black one on here is bigger. Next up, we have a normal pump shotgun. This thing's honestly kind of cheap. I have a nicer sh shotgun that will come later, but I believe this is also a Sima, but this is honestly just a shotgun that's just super cheap. So one of you that maybe is getting into the sport, that'll be a really good gun for you. Another great gun to have for intro is anything JG. This is a JG G36. This thing is actually awesome. It shoots incredibly well. JG makes some of the best stuff in the world for super cheap and it actually comes with a Tokyo Marie high cap G36 magazine. And so these mags alone are probably like 35 bucks and I'm including that in the deal for a gun. It's gonna be pretty affordable for most of you guys. Here is the nicer shotgun. This is a Sima shotgun. This is not a, actually this is a tri shot. Um, it will come with three shells. It does have the orange tip on it. Um, it's very nice. I've, sh I've not used this at all. Most of the guns that I'm selling are brand new and I either get from mystery boxes or I get in trades from stuff. Next up here we have an e-bike BAMF. This is the, the shorter version. Um, it does have the really nice metal rail system, but the body is polymer. This is another great entry gun. Got the standard crane stock, and then it will come with one of the e-bike BAMF mid-cap magazines. I think we're at a pretty decent pace so far, to be honest. Up next, we have a Classic Army ISCC. Um, this is like the 22 caliber conversion, but it's basically a SCAR. Um, they just got to label a little bit differently. I think this is honestly a pretty new gun. This gun has actually not been used, but I'm pretty sure that this is like one of the newer guns that Classic Army has come out with and I got it in a mystery box. However, it's like a mid-level gun, so obviously I'm not using it because I'm using a lot of guns that are really high quality. Um, we're gonna save this for later. I'm gonna grab this giant gun because it is freaking massive and I'm gonna try and hold it up here. This <laughs> is the Matrix Bar. <laughs> I have never held a gun that is this massive or this huge or this awesome honestly this the, the wood i believe is real it feels like real wood the body is a hundred percent metal there's a reason that it weighs as much as it does i don't know if i'm going to ship this to be honest i'm going to sell this because obviously i have little use for it it's sitting beside my bed but this thing takes up so much room so i'm gonna try to give this to my camera dude and hopefully he doesn't drop it on his head and take a big slip 
Um, next up, we're going to go ahead and do the cheaper sniper rifle. I'm going to get to the pistols here in a second. This is just a cheap sniper rifle. It will come with this uh, bipod. Um, I have no idea what brand this is, to be honest. I believe it's like a D-Boys or something. Um, it comes with the standard magazines that are like TMG spec magazines. So the magazines are pretty nice, but I believe this is just some sort of cheap VSR style rifle. Up next, we have the sniper rifle that is also huge. Um, this thing has been wrapped in like a camouflage wrapping. I don't know exactly what brand the camouflage wrapping is, um, but it looks really cool. It has this sick flash hider on there. You can see it's kind of like a tank style flash hider on the end of it. Honestly, I think that's probably the coolest part of this entire gun. And then it has a matrix scope that is is ridiculously big. I have no idea, idea why you need um, as much magnification as this thing. It goes 9 to 24 zoom. So if you want to try and, and shoot a shoot a deer that's like 8,000 feet away, um, go ahead and go for that. But this thing is massive. Um, it does shoot pretty well. It's actually kind of a low FPS, uh, but the gun looks awesome. It feels awesome. And I believe this is, I think this is a UTG. Some of the brands, I don't know. Like I've seen these guns enough and enough people reproduce them that it's a little bit harder. Um, I'm gonna leave the 417 and then the HPA Polar Star thing till the end as I drop that on the table. Rip. I'm gonna leave the HPA Polar Star and then my 417 for the end of the video. But we're gonna go ahead and do this. This kind of hurts me. This is my Crytac Vector. I've actually not used this gun like at all. I think I've target shot it in the back twice. I did a review on it and then I just have not done anything with the gun. I really wanted to use it. I put this sweet um, flash hider slash amp on here, um, but I built a really nice stubby M4 that you guys are gonna see in probably the next video from this. And so I just don't have, I, don't, I just, this is a very expensive gun. And so I am going to sell this. Um, it comes with two of the mid cap magazines. Um, I did the V-Bike pre-order exclusive, and so it comes with two of the mags. I think I've shot literally 100 rounds through that, if, I, if I'm being honest, and that is kind of sad. It, like, hurts me, but I love it. Up next is my 417. I have not decided if I want to sell this or not. This ha will come with three of the mid-cap magazines and also one of the high-cap magazines, so the mags are on the table. Um, it will not include the, R the, the vertical foregrip or the XTMs unless you pay a little bit extra or the ACOG, but honestly, this is a gun I have all kind of tricked out except for the flash hider because I really like it and I haven't decided if I want to sell it or not. But if I get a really good offer, I probably should because this is just another gun. I don't want to have to build a, a 7.62 rig around one gun because I have mostly 5.56 five, stuff, which is fine. Um, I know I'm like that standard mill simmer, but I just, I really do. I love the M4 platform. All right, pistols, pistols and an accessory. So first up we have a KDB pistol. This has been completely polished all over. Um, this thing I think works, works, it does work well, but the problem is the outer barrel kind of snapped a little bit and I think this is completely stock. I don't think there's anything in here. Um, it does shoot pretty well, which is surprising, but it's really interesting that the guy before me decided to polish it. I think it looks like a really cool, honestly, it makes it, it feel really cool, but I just would not have personally polished it, but some people like to do what they want to do. So there's that. Up next, we have an SAI 1911. This thing has literally been shot two mags through it. These things are awesome. E-bike has been pushing these so hard and they are so, so, so beautiful. I love them. It, I do have extra mags. So if you want to buy potentially extra mags with this, I have three CO2 mags and I have one green gas mag. I haven't decided because I have two of these pistols and I haven't decided um, exactly what I want to do with them. I'm probably keeping the one of them and I don't know if I want CO2 or green gas. So feel free to offer up on that. Up next, we have a brand new Wii Toucan. This is the uh, MMP40. Um, there's something wrong with the lower. Whenever I rack it, the, the hammer doesn't hold back. So I was told that I needed a brand new lower um, and that'd be fine or one of the pieces would need replaced, but I don't have time to, to do that. I'm busy building a race pistol right now. Uh, up next, we have an Elite Force 1911 TAC and I actually have two of these. I'm just gonna show off one for a second. I have this and then I also have the holster for it. So I have a, this is a fake circle holster. It's not the real one um, when it comes to the paddle mount. These things are my favorite pistols. I'll probably end up keeping one of them, um, but like I said, I know a lot of people really like those pistols, so I would be willing to sell it because I have a really nice high kappa and a really nice other pistol that I really don't need, and I love the SAI 1911. Up next, we have actually a combo deal. So this is a WE race pistol. It will come with three mags, and it will also come with an ISPC belt. So this is the, it's a Condor belt. It has a super, super nice holster on it. This is the ISPC standard holster, so it's like super fast and ridiculous. Um, and then it has the AIP mags, so 
if you want, it's one of the friends that I bought this from. Um, he got into race pistol shooting, and so I bought this because I thought this would be really cool, and just ended up like I I don't play in any indoor fields really that much, so it's hard for me to kind of use um, race pistols and stuff when most of the time I'll just use a rifle because I like rifles. Um, however, it is fun to blast around with a pistol. So it has a red dot up here, NC uh, Star red dot, um, as well as the mount, and then it also has a ridiculously nice magwell. This thing is awesome. I don't exactly know what brand this is, but it's super, super high quality. I would guess it's AIP, um, but it's got a, it's very, very large, which is awesome. So it's incredibly easy to index mags into this and, and to kind of go quickly, which is super important for ISPC. But the base build is a WE CQB Master, has 100%. 170% recoil and hammer springs in there, has a tight board barrel, has an upgraded bucking. Um, I believe there's a few other like minor upgrades to that gun as well. I'm gonna go ahead and whip out my pistol drawer real quick. As, that's right, I have so many pistols that there is a drawer underneath. Up here we have two Desert Eagles with three mags between the two of them. Um, these things are awesome, these are KWC, so they're full auto. I just, I just can't carry a Desert Eagle in, in any sort of holster, so I have zero use for these. However, they are awesome to look at. I have removed the flat orange flash hider from one, but the other one will have it. Um, these things are ridiculous, but they're so, so, so cool. I had two Tokyo Marine ones in the past, and so I've just been spoiled with how really good the Tokyo Marine ones are. The KWC ones are good. They're just not as high quality as maybe um, all the Tokyo Marine ones are. Up next, we have a non blow bag Makarov. I think this is a Makarov. This thing's awesome. I don't know what brand it is, but it's incredible. So I've just been shooting it kind of like around. Um, it has a really small magazine that actually has a really great gas efficiency. It's just a cool little gun. I think we have the final pistol. So this is the final pistol. This is the WE Dectonix 45. Um, E-Bike was pushing these real hard for a while too. I like them, except I'm a bigger dude. And so my hands are normal size. This would be great for a younger kid if they want to, um, if they maybe don't have large man hands like I do, but I can't wrap my pinky around the grip when I shoot it. And so it's, it's a pretty good pistol They They work pretty well. It's W so it isn't like the best quality, but it isn't poor quality either. I think that's all the guns except for the Polar Star. Nope. I have one more MP5. Oh, I have two more. So this is an MP5. I don't actually, this is the gas one. I don't actually know if this works as a problem. So I'll sell this for pretty cheap. Um, this is two mags. And so this is one of the old, I don't, I think it's like Galaxy or, I forget exactly what brand this is. Some of you, one of you can tell me in the comments. But it's the only um, company to make gas MP5 in this small one. I think, I can't remember what, the G55, that's right. Was it well? It might be, it might be a well G55. I can't remember. Um, it has two mags. I don't know if they hold gas or not because I haven't even tested them. Um, but it, I've heard those guns are cool. I just know that they break all the time. So if you get like a parts or something, you can have that. And then finally, up next, we have a JG Works. Um, this is their Scorpion, so it comes with a drum mag, and it will come with two smaller mags. Apparently, the selector switch um, came off. I do have it, and it's in a bag, um, so it'll be down there. It'll be included. I was just told that the selector switch came off, and so the gun does not. Uh, it does work, and it's like almost brand new. He said he just said it just doesn't because the selector switch is on there. It's on. It's on safe, so I can't test it, and then it will come with a battery as well. But this thing's a cool, just a cool little gun. Um, Really, really cool. It has a folding stock as well. So if you're interested in it, um, go ahead and message me and hit me up. I'm going to try and fold this stock and do this. Okay, so up next we have um, mags slash gear. I'll go ahead and go to these Oakley goggles first. So these are super nice um, Oakley goggles. I just do not need these. These are the SI Ballistic Halos. I have ESS Turbo fans, but if I didn't, these would be an awesome pair of glasses. Anything Oakley is really nice, especially Oakley SI stuff. It's so it's standard military issue. And so it has the really cool smoke lens. So these, I'll try these on real quick. They look awesome. You can see that my light box is in there, but they're awesome. They're ANSI, so they're full, um, full seal. And they apparently are pretty good with fogging. I wasn't sure, um, with, well, I was going to, I was going to ask, but I did a little bit of research online. They're pretty good. And these are pretty expensive, uh, glasses. So hopefully one of you will be able to grab a decent deal on them. Up next, we have a, a e-bike 4x32 combat scope. Um, this has never been opened. This scope is still in there. Up next, we have a GMP super cool magazine. Um, this is one of the really nice. This has never been used. It is in good shape. It does work. Um, it's one of their drum magazines. I think this is like 2,500 rounds or something, or maybe it's 5,000, but it's a ton of bullets. I do not have an LMG or something like in... Um, 
M27 that I could use with this and feel okay because it just be so crazy running and never having to change mags. Um, I do have some different M4 magazines. I'll list those in the description. I have the Evike uh, BAMF mags. I have Elite Force mid caps as well. And then I also have, I think they're Mad Bull, the Troy mags. I have the Troy mags that hold like 180 rounds. And they're really cool. Up next, we have two suppressors. So I have a Gemtech or Gemtech Black side. This is the tan one, and then I have this really, really nice ASG combo one. So it comes with a flash hider, which is in there, and then um, I don't think I don't know if I can get this out. It has an ASG flash hider that's in here as well. So it's a flash hider um, suppressor combo, and this thing is really nice. I actually looked these up online. They're incredibly expensive, but they're really, really cool. Um, we also have a grip. So this is a PTK grip. I is a, yeah, Sab Defense. So I bought this off of um, eBay for like 25 bucks. It's a really nice vertical foregrip. It's an angle vertical foregrip. I really, I just like the the ridge, so I bought that. But I have so many Magpul AFGs that I don't need it anymore. I have a <laughs> Warfare Edition by Aim Sports Red Dot. It's got a little bit of crack up in the top, but it still works fine. I have a shot out EOTech. A lot of people still like to get these EOTechs and just put them on their guns for fun um, because a lot of airsoft is not aiming. Mad. Pull. These are the Magpul. Um, these are replica and the sights. I have a Speed Noveski um, rail mount. I have this little black grip, which I don't know what it is, but it fits really awesome on the G36. So if you're looking to buy that, this fits awesome on there and it feels really cool. Um, I have a bunch of batteries. So there's going to be batteries that are in the description as well. Uh, I just have a ton of them. Um, I have a few FC batteries for the Polar Star as well, which I'll get to in a second. And then I have. Um, uh, I have four of these Condor MP5 mag pouches. I have some double Condor mag pouches. And then I also have, I get asked all the time, Alec, what gear do you use? Do you have any extra gear? Um, I do have some AK high caps as well. And then I think that's all for the accessories and stuff. So finally, last but not least, those of you that stayed around the end of the 17 minute video, probably going to be 18, 19. This is an awesome, awesome gun. I did a review on this. This is built by Airsoft Junkies. It has a Wolverine Gen 2 engine in it. Um, it's got a super long suppressor. It has a super nice tight board that's all the way out to here. This gun is super silent. It is incredible. It shoots very, very far, very, very well. It has a Balkan grip, um, has an NC Star optic on here that's really, really awesome. It's the um, Airsoft Junkies body. So these are VFC bodies. Got the Ergo grip. It's got the Magpul ACS stock. This is basically, if you want a built Polar Star, this thing is not used at all. I bought this off of a guy who had only used it, he said twice. He played at Fallen Warriors with it. And so I got it for um, just, just like so glad I got it. It has a speed trigger. It has a pro and hop up in it. I got it because I thought about maybe like buying and using it as a DMR build, a Noveski rail. But I don't know if I can go back to HPA yet. And I love my, love my primary weapon. I love it so much. Um, and it's got such a good gearbox that Shirtshot Midgets built. So I really don't need the trigger response of a Polar Star when I have a Spectre BTC Moffset. Oh, I have one more gun, so we stuck around for the pistol ones. I think that's almost everything. But the last gun, this thing's actually really cool and really worth. This is a Knight's Armament pistol. This is, oh, this is a gorgeous pistol. It has, um, I don't, these are not real, um, but this is like ivory style grips. It comes with three mags. It's a Wii, just single stack at 1911. I think Wii is, yeah, it's OEM by WE, but it's a Knight, the Knight's Armament Nighthawk, and this thing actually lights up too, which is kind of cool. So the case like lights up. I think it lights up. Yep, if you push the button, it lights up. Probably can't see that with all the light there, but it does light up, and so it illuminates the pistol, and it can go on a strobe mode as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you stuck around at the end into this, comment green gas. It's been Alec Mac 111 and I will see your faces later.